Hi, this is Tim Lewis in Multimedical English. Today we're going to talk about general statements and different words that you can use when you want to give patients directions. When we're examining the patient, we have to use some terminology to move them around, to have them sit up, lie down. But to do that, we need to start with some general terms like, can you please? Can you please move your arm? Can you please take a deep breath? I would like you. I would like you to move your arm up. I need you to. I need you to turn to the right. I need you to come closer. Could you please? Could you please extend your arm? Could you please extend your leg? So, for example, I could say, could you please sit up? Could you please lie down? Okay, let's start with general positions. I need the patient to lay down, so I ask them, could you please lay down? Sit up, please. Okay, I want the patient to stand up. Can you please stand up? Okay. Please, sit down. I want the patient to lay on his right side. I ask him, can you please lay on your right side? Lay down on your right side. Okay, a couple more simple words that we use sometimes. We need to move the patient around the bed uh, to turn him to the right, to the left. We want him to move up or move down. These are some of the words we're going to be using now, and I'll show you how we use those. So, could you please lay down? Now, if I want him to come up higher, I could say, can you please move up? And he will try to move up. Or I could say, scoot up, please. We use the word scoot. Scoot up, please. Scoot down, please. Or you can say, move up or move down. They're both fine. Again, if I want him to turn to the right, I would say, can you turn to the right side? Now, if I want him to come back over, I could say, roll over. Roll over to the left side. Roll over. Okay. Can you show me your arm? Can you show me where it hurts? If you want the patient to show you a part of his body, you could say, Can you show me your elbow? Can you show me where it hurts? Could you please show me where it hurts? There are many words that you can use to give patients directions and instructions. These are just a very few of them, and I hope they help you today. Well, thank you for watching the video today. Uh, if you have any comments, please leave them below, or you can contact us at...